Okay, so this is the fourth installment to the road to being an indie editor. And um, today I'm going to show you how to do the gun glow effect. You could call it whatever you want, but it looks something like this. Okay, so you see the spaz, it's all glowing up and stuff. This isn't a really clean one. I mean, I didn't work very hard on it, of course. Just an example for you. And. Um, you don't need anything outside to make it colorful, but to make it blurry like that, you're gonna need new blue LE. Um, I really suggest you get this. It's gray, uh, there's nice effects. So, first, you're gonna go into pan and crop. You're gonna go to mask, and you're gonna mask the gun. Now, these aren't what you're using for this one. You're using Anchor Creation Tool. And I'm using a clip with the model, and I'm going to do the model. So, give yourself some space. I mean, you can do it perfectly if you really want to. I'm not going to do it perfectly. I'm just not going to waste that much time. So, then you're going to click this. And I like to go to the middle one. Drag it out just a little bit so it's blurry. So it's not clear cut. And then you're going to go to position. Or you can leave it like that. And you're just going to follow the gun. Make sure you have sync cursor on so it syncs wherever you put this. So don't worry about it being black. I'm going to tell you how to get rid of that in a moment. Just make sure it goes with the model. Now that you're done with that, I mean, you can keep it going with it. I'm just showing you for the first couple. You're gonna, after you're done doing that, you're gonna drag this out. And when you see mask, it might be uh, like that, but open it up. Make sure you press apply to FX and you click yes. Now, everything will come back. Don't worry, you didn't lose all that syncing. I sped that part up because it's fucking boring. And, um,. Now that you did that, whatever you put on the clip from now on is only going to be applied to that fucking model. So, I'm going to put KK on, and you see that? That looks so sexy. And, uh, you don't have to put that on if you don't have it. If you just want to make it colorful, of course, you go to HSL Adjust, and you can make it whatever color you want, basically. So, I'm going to hold Animate, I'm going to go a little bit. I'm gonna put it all the way up, go a little bit more, put it all the way up, put it all the way down, put a little bit more, put it all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna render this out. I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to watch. And Okay, so now you have a fucking sexy looking model. Oh, it's really clean and edits. It looks like it's something that's very hard to do, and it really isn't. Okay, so this is the fourth tutorial on the road to being an indie editor, and I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna keep making tutorials. And yeah, if you have any problems, leave it in the description, and I'll put my Skype in the description also. I'll answer all. So, thanks for watching, and see you later.